Welcome to this quick tip here on the DJPodcast.com. My name is Peter Morgan, and in today's episode, I'm going to show you some Ableton Live keyboard shortcuts to help improve your workflow. All right, so here we are in Live, as you can see. And the first is that if you hit the Tab key, you can switch between the Arrangement view and the Session view, which is really great. But also, if you press Shift Tab, you can see down here that we can switch between the Clip view and the Effects view. Now if we press tab, go back to the arrangement view, you can see we're zoomed in here. If we press the minus key, we will zoom out. And if we press the plus key, oh, we will zoom in. If you want to change a parameter and you don't necessarily want to make you know two points, you can go into draw mode, which you get to by clicking this pencil here. But you can also hit Apple B if you're on a Mac or Control B on a PC and switch to this mode and you can click that key again to get out of it. Now if you're working on a parameter, let's say you are you know working on a mix here and and there's a parameter in the effects view that you want to reset to the default value, you can simply click on that value and hit delete and that will reset it back to its default value. If you hit Apple L or Control L on a PC, you can loop a part of either of the arrangements. So if we just select this bit here and we hit Apple L, you'll see that there is now a loop here. Or if you go to the individual track, and this is a, a new thing to Live 8, but if you if you zoom in here, for example, and you see up here, there's the little speaker icon, but if you click up here and select a portion and then hit Apple L, you can select a loop in the track and it will change the start point of the track to the very start of the loop. That's it for this quick tip here on the DJpodcast.com. If you have a tip that you'd like to share, send an email to contact at the DJpodcast.com or tweet to at DJ Peter Morgan on Twitter. Thanks for watching.